Hi, and welcome to the Changing Perspectives podcast, the show where we discuss a variety of topics, including grief, parenting, health and wellness, and relationships. Join us and explore a number of changing perspectives. We're your hosts, Jenny and Josh Brennan. Hi, Jenny. What is life? Are we really doing this? I have no idea. um, Hello. I haven't accepted it yet that we're actually (laughs) back in the studio. It's been way too long and i think i was touching my mic the entire time when i was reading the opening so there might be poppy stuff yeah this is an everyone (laughs) show rated e for everyone clean and all that stuff so you keep it keep it clean over there it's clean hi hi how are you you're in your phone already i'm doing my homework aren't i supposed to have pull up your microphone aren't i supposed to have aren't i supposed to have things prepared for this Yes. I'm preparing right now. You, oh, that's fine. Well, uh, then I'll talk. Hi, everyone. Welcome to episode 50. Thank you so much for joining oh, us. You're yes. Obnoxious. We um, were on hiatus. Changing Perspectives was on hiatus for a long time, mm. almost two months. Um, I, th- I, I think the last episode, I hope everybody enjoyed it, was all about pit bulls, myths, myths about pit bulls. We have one in the studio with us now. Um, our little peanut, Norma Jean, who's in her sporting her winter gear, um, her pink sweatshirt. We'll post a picture on our Instagrams and everything. Jenny, take a picture of her and we'll post it in her cute hoodie. So that was a Myths About Pitbulls. It was National Pitbull Awareness Month in October, which is the last time you heard our beautiful voices. But we are back. We are back, baby. And it's really great to be back. Back. Fra- Don't sing it. We'll have to okay, pay for okay, it. Okay. Um, but I just... It reminded me, it reminds me of that Friends episode, of course, because most of, most things in life remind me of Friends episodes when Joey wins his role back on Days of Our Lives as Dr. Drake Ramore, and he's in the coma, and at the end of the episode, he rips off the, the, the uh, bandages from his face, and he says, I'm back, baby. I, that's I really what I just, don't remember that at what, all. No way. You've, you don't remember that episode? I, I remember the episode, and I don't remember that moment. Oh, yeah. Well, I actually, I just watched it because I'm re-watching Friends. Are you? Um, at the gym. Oh, that's so adorable. So we have fancy new treadmills at the gym. I can't, I can't watch TV when I work out. Yeah, well, that's why I it's Friends because it's just like, it's backgroundy. I get to watch the no, visuals. I can I have focus to, like, on my run. Look out a window and focus on anger. Anger? Yeah. That fuels like, my workout. Oh, okay, like... Like drive, like aggression, like yeah. that type of. Uh huh. That's interesting. I laugh. I like to laugh and listen to stuff. Well, that's why you fall off treadmills. So there's listen, that. Listen, I've done, that's happened once to me. How many times has it happened to me? Zero. <laughs> Talk into your mic. I'm trying. I don't. It gives me <laughs> asthma. That doesn't make sense. I have asthma. And when I breathe, when I talk directly into the mic, I breathe in like this microphone cover and it sets off. Watch. In 20 minutes, I'm going to be froggy. Well, let me take a break in a little bit. Do you, you're Why playing, are we hearing ourselves? You're playing an episode on your phone. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. I was really confused about why I heard myself. Listen, this is this might sound I'm a little a, rusty. This, yeah, we're a little rusty. This might sound a little <laughs> bit like episode one. Um, during the break, you can take off that pop filter. It's not a big deal. Oh, really? Yeah. But then when I pop, won't no, it? No, it's fine. Oh. I can do it in the back. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> jeez. I can do it in the recording. You can fix it. I can in, fix in it in post. post. Okay. Fix it in post. Do it in the back. Isn't that a song? Oh my goodness. We are relaunching our show, Changing Perspectives. No, and we we're, just were on vacation. A it's horrible, a relaunch. A horrible, terrible vacation. It wasn't vacation at all. That's we're fine. about to take vacation. This this was not this that was not vacation. That was a rough I did my homework month and a half. I'm ready Excellent. For the so um we're actually going to have an episode where we talk about what happened and why we were on hiatus. That's that'll be I would next. like to call it Jenny and Josh. What the heck happened? What the heck happened? Yeah. Um but Episode 50, for the past, uh, for past little bit, we've always known that episode 50, we wanted to do like sort of a celebration um, of our first 50 at 49 episodes. So that's what we have prepared for you today is Jenny and Josh are going to make a lot of noise as they play with their microphones. Go ahead. Is that better? I don't know. The pop filter is off. Is that's that better? Fine. Okay. Yeah, it's not going to make a big difference. No asthma. Yay. No asthma. So... 
episode 50, we run, wanted to just really review and celebrate uh, everything we've accomplished so far. We started this podcast this year, 2019, um, took a risk, and it really did pay off for 49 episodes. We had a blast doing it. Put out, I think we put out a lot of fun content. Hopefully it was helpful to people, entertaining. We, um, we had to take a little bit of a hiatus in October and November, but we are back now, and we'll talk more about that a little bit later. Upcoming for you, before we dive into the episode content, I wanted to share some exciting new things that are happening for Changing Perspectives as Jenny takes a nice selfie. Um, Get Burly. I wanted to shout out our friends at Get Burly and Mikey. Um, they've been patiently waiting for us to do a Get Burly episode, so they are going to be our first um, interview in the relaunch. Um, Can you stop saying relaunch? I, like, I, I don't, I don't, I don't like know. that. You don't, what do you want to call it? Just, Just we're back. We... We didn't. Our next interview. We recorded last. We had an episode last month. It's not like we were away for a year. I feel like it was forever. I feel like I. I feel like this is like a re a reboot. Stop saying that. (laughs) That makes me feel really. um, What. Uh, guilty and like a failure. No. And like a loser, all those things. Well, that sounds like a deeper episode that we'll have to get into later. But um. But anyway, a Get Burly episode is coming your way. We're going to record and chat, sit down and chat with our buddy Mikey. Um, I don't know if his wife Ashley is joining him, but it'll be a great episode. Uh, you can stay tuned for the break and hear a Get Burly ad. Um, some other exciting things. I, I, one of these things I haven't even talked about with Jenny yet, but we're going to hear it live right on the air right now. No. Um, you know about this first one. I would like to invite everyone to participate in a contest for changing perspectives. I'm calling it the t-shirt photo contest. And oh, what that's, you, that's a clever name. Yes. I, it, it took me a while. Um, what you need to do is tag us on Facebook or Instagram. You can use our changing perspective socials with a picture of you listening to the show. And if you do that, you're going to be entered to win a T-shirt, a Changing Perspectives T-shirt. So, yeah, that's exciting, right? No? Uh, yes. Yes. It's very exciting. I don't think anyone's going to do it, you but can, yes. You can do a screenshot of the show on your, playing on your phone and whatever f- platform or whatever your favorite podcast player is or a selfie of you listening or a friend of yours listening or a spouse listening or something like that. Tag us on the socials, and we will enter you to win a T-shirt. Can I post a selfie and be entered to win a sure. T-shirt? You can. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Great. Uh, and the, the other new and exciting thing I wanted to do was uh, other podcasts do this, and I was listening to a po- podcast the other day, and I'm like, you know what? That's a great idea. I, I think people enjoy listening to their own comments and hearing themselves on a show that they listen to i love that i i tune into one of my podcasts because they are so interactive with their facebook uh groups that it's very likely that every other episode or so you could actually hear yourself um hear your name and hear your comment and and join in the discussion so uh other shows do this i think we are going to start today at the end of today's episode shouting out folks that have left us itunes reviews and we're going to feature them on the show we're going to read them over the air what do you think of that jenny i think that's fantastic excellent i was worried you weren't going to like that i wasn't really (laughs) listening because i'm posting on instagram what are we doing what do you mean oh no i said we are we (laughs) you really you weren't listening were you (laughs) we are reading over the air folks that have left us itunes reviews and we're going to read the reviews over the air uh are you allowed to do that yeah you're allowed to do that i don't think you're allowed to promote are there itunes police yeah are there are about? i don't think you're allowed to promote itunes reviews they yeah, read you can. they read reviews not comments what do you mean people read on their podcast reviews not just comments the comments by people the comments on when you when you rate a review so those are their reviews are you mm-hmm. sure that's a thing that's allowed absolutely i mean i'm a rule follower if you know me, you know that's true. I don't think that's, that's what allowed. we're going to do. We're going to do it. Uh, okay. Yeah. Well, other, we'll do other it. Other shows do it. We're going to do it. Okay. So we're just copying? Yeah. Oh. Absolutely. It's going to be great. 
Great. So if you want to hear your comment read over the air, write us a review and we'll read it. Okay? Okay. We'll that, try I mean, it. We'll see how it goes. Until we're we gonna, get in trouble and we're gonna we try don't have a podcast this. anymore. So. Anyway, so that was all the, uh, the little announcements I had to, to chat about. Do you want to dive into today's content or what are you doing over there? Oh, so what I'm doing is we are going to be in Disney. And yes. I, I, I also have not been good with the social medias, but tune into episode 51. What the heck happened, Jenny and Josh? And we'll explain why. <laughs> yes. But I do have a goal of posting again on Instagram mm-hmm. every day in Disney. And did I tell you this? I have a Disney quote for every single day. You do? Mm-hmm. That's exciting. I won't tell you. We're going to record some stuff down there, too. <sighs> okay. Just um, like we did last time. It'd be fun. But I wanted to post a picture of Norma Jean because she's in here and I was yeah. going to say we're back and we're recording, but I can't post a picture because first I have to post a quote because if you go to my Insta you'll s- or our Instagram, Changing Perspectives, perspectives right. you'll see that it's quote, picture, quote, picture, quote, picture. And so quote is up next. So I have to post one of my quotes and I'm trying to find one that's not a Disney one because that's for when we're in Disney. Ah, I get it. I'm going to take my fancy device phone and take a picture of you over there and post it on my Dizzy Bird Studios Instagram. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. oh, phone oh, alert, phone, phone alert. Not mine. Is that okay? Can yeah. I do that? A lot of my uh, quotes that I have not yet posted are sports related. Oh. Um, you're not obligated to win. You're obligated to keep trying. Never let the fear of striking out keep you from playing the game. Clearly, I was in the middle of um, sports seasons when I did this. The question isn't who is going to let me. It's who is going to stop me. And you miss 100% of the shots you never take. Which one should I post? Wayne Gretzky, Michael, Michael Scott. Scott. <laughs> well, I'll post that one then. I think maybe I posted that one already. Can you smile over there? Wait, take another one. I can never remember which side is my good side. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use my new f- portrait feature. Okay. I'm sure this is riveting radio and people Isn't are like, oh my God, I did not miss Okay, you ready? Big, smile. Why, where'd you go? Jenny. Smiling is not fun for Let people that are listening. Go ahead, smile. Perfect. Okay. All right. Um, so, what are we talking about today? We are talking. This is episode fifty. Fifty episodes of Changing Perspectives. So exciting. Um, what we want to do is just almost like a best of, I guess. I don't know. Um, I think each of us have chosen our top five favorite episodes so far in our history of Changing Perspectives. We started this journey back in March, I think. Um, it's now almost December. I don't quite know when this is going to drop. Maybe maybe Monday. the 25th? Yeah, yeah. It'll be the 25th when you guys are hearing this. So um, I think it was a great first year. Such a blast. I'm so excited to be doing this show with you and so excited to be back on the year. Um, but we have chosen our top five episodes each. Totally. And we're going to talk about those. And I why. for sure did that. <laughs> you did, right, though? Just That's now. what you're just doing. That's fine. I did it before, and then I think I deleted them. Ah, uh, okay. Well, um, do you want to go first? Oh, do you want me to go first? You go first. I'll, I'll copy. Okay. I mean, well, you go first. I would love to hear you'll what you copy. have to say. Well, as um, we've discussed in multiple episodes, when you do a countdown or a top 10 or whatever, I always start with the, with the 10. Right? Number one is your number one. Wait, are we doing 10? I thought we were doing five. You know what I mean. Top five. Oh, okay. So you start with your five. So number five for me, now you got to let me know if you chose this one too, is episode 31, The Island Survivor Game. I did. Did you? Yeah. What number is it? I don't know. I just took pictures of the uh, ones that I wanted okay. to choose. This is loosey goosey for me. Yeah. I'm so the Island Survivor Game. This, so this is now. If you're not familiar with changing perspectives, hopefully you are. But we are an eclectic podcast. We talk about multiple different types of topics. One of our main types of topics are relationship topics. Um, Jenny is a psychotherapist, um, relationship therapist, right? Mm. You know, you, you wouldn't describe yourself as a marriage and family, like a marriage counselor, but you're... Well, I am. I went to the Denver Family Institute Marriage and Family Therapy Program. Right. But you, you always say, I'm not an expert, but you are, really. Mm. So I guess I don't say that because I no longer take on couples and families because, well, frankly, because they only can do evenings. And but you're trained to and you know uh-huh, how yeah. to. Yeah. And I do enjoy it. So, and I enjoy 
our relationship episodes, and I think that a lot of people do as well. We've charted. They are. If we look at the numbers, those mm-hmm. are our most downloaded, most um, listened to, most engaged with, most talked about episodes, which is not what we thought 50 episodes ago. So um, I actually have two relationship based episodes on my list that's the first one okay um the island survivor game so do you want to do you want to summarize what that was yeah we had a big fight well no before that what what's the island survivor game it is supposed to be a fun activity so Mm -hmm. gottman a lot of our relationship episodes are either sort of driven by uh julie and john gottman from the gottman institute i forgot it was julie Uh uh-huh or um chap uh, Gary Chapman. Yes. Um, and we do a lot of like quizzes or activities that are designed to kind of utilize in couples therapy or in sort of couples work together. And so this is supposed to be the Island survivor game is supposed to be sort of a, a fun, useful activity for couples. And you've probably done some version of it. If you've ever done like an icebreaker or a warm up in a group at college or at work or something, you know, kind of, if you could go to a, a deserted Island, what would you bring? Yeah. In fact, in the, um, the, one of the courses that I'm teaching right now, they have to, in weeks two and three, they have to each take, um, over the class and lead an icebreaker or a warm up. And last week or this week, someone did, essentially this like if you could if you were going to a a deserted island what three things would you bring this has a list of things you would bring and as a couple you have to come to consensus on which i don't know 10 maybe you have to bring and then you reflect on the process of coming up with those things and in our process josh made fun of me and was very disparaging and rude so but it triggered real real feelings that that linked back to kind of a recent argument that we had had and we as we always do, we just left the mics on and we were real and we leaned into that and explored it. And so it was an uncomfortable episode during, but I feel like we reached resolution Mm -hmm. and gained some clarity. And so that's why that was, that probably would be my favorite episode. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was real. Because it was real. That's why I liked it. It was really real. And it helped us prepare. Was that the one that helped us prepare for the next fight or maybe that was our next that was your, your, maybe that your, was last, your last argument fight. Yeah. yeah but uh, no i really enjoyed going through it it was fun um besides the fact that we sort Got of fought an argument yeah but are you know arguments are real they happen in relationships what why are you pointing your phone me? is making noise you're making noise <laughs> that's true i'm talking um, um i i wanted to read the synopsis for each of these so real quick it says join jenny and josh as they were josh as they work together to complete the gottman institute's island survival game it's all fun and games until the activity reveals some true feelings lurking beneath the surface uh, and of course we shared the link to the gottman homework assignment the island survivor game check that episode out i really enjoyed going through that with you and the fact that you heard in a real life relationship conflict and resolution i would say like we we came to an understanding at the end and i really learned you know what was going on with you and your feelings on that one so it was it was it's 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 a real episode that's the best way to describe it and it was it was a lot of fun to do too what's your number five or give me one um let's i love how you never do the list it's crazy. Like I was a valedictorian twice, always do my homework. I went to a uh, genetics group screening appointment today. Stay tuned for episode 51. Jenny yeah. and Josh, what the heck happened? Little teaser. Um, and I, was, I didn't even tell you this. Like they were like, all right, everyone who's here for this genetics appointment, follow me. And I was the first in line. And we all like walked <laughs> all the way through the Dana-Farber Institute in like a line of like ducks. It was so weird. None of us were in a, it was a single file line. Like we were in kindergarten That's or funny. like ducks crossing the road. Kill me with your Um So I was the first there. one in the room and sat at the front of the room <laughs> like the dork that I am. However, I did not do my homework for this. Uh. Um Hold Your on. Phone I know. Is I know. I will shut off. Hold no, on. No, no, hold, no, please. Stop. I will shut off the. Um, That's great for everybody to hear right now. Why is it not doing anything? I don't think it's. I think it's your phone. Nope. It's <laughs> definitely your phone. <laughs> um. Let's see. What did I have? I had. Oh. Episode four. Going all the way back. Okay. Which one was that? Do you speak love? Oh, Exploring yeah. the five love languages. I like. So that that's one too. of my favorites because that is so core. I think that um, Mm -hmm. most people, it's almost like the um, Kubler-Ross's five stages of grief. Mm -hmm. 
it, it's almost kind of pop culture out there now. Yeah. I feel like a lot of people, so Kubler Ross's Five Stages of Grief, you've probably heard denial, anger, bargaining, depression, acceptance. Um, those you're, are sort you're of. You're show off. You just went. Dabda. Um, right off the top of but, your head. Well, because it's crap. And actually, I said that to a patient <laughs> today. I was like, it's crap. Don't listen to it. Um, and Kubler Ross said that at the end of her life in a much more eloquent way. She didn't say, hey, my theory is crap. But she said, hey, my theory, you guys took that way too literally. Not at all what grief is. Grief is not linear. It's not denial. Not first you're in denial and then anger and then depression and then bargaining and then acceptance. Like, that's bull. Um, but it's what people know. And I don't know where people learn it from, but maybe in a high school psychology class right, or something. That or just You movies, hear it maybe. or like probably social media. You know, there's cute little memes. There's a really cute one with a giraffe. You should look that up. It's really cute. Yeah. And he's like sinking in quicksand and he goes through all the stages. Uh. It's quite funny. Um, anyways, I feel like the love languages is almost reaching that stage. Yeah. I feel like a lot of people have heard of the love languages and will like mention it in session before I've ever brought up love languages. Wasn't it just referenced in the show you were watching? Yes. A fresh off the boat. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was. And that must right, have right. been a recent, a recent episode. Uh, so yeah, it's, see, it's pop culture mm-hmm. now. Mm-hmm. So we did an episode where we actually episode four we took the quiz this on is the air a gary chapman quiz we took the quiz to find out what my love language is and what josh's love language is and then how that impacts our relationship and the goal when we take quizzes like that on air is to sort of model how that can help other people how you can you know have it be this fun thing it's not this boring activity that's all like clinical it can be fun and light yeah. and um also insightful so I liked that one because that actually kind of served then as a foundation for a mm. lot of our other relationship episodes. Yeah, it did. Because mm. we referenced it a lot. Yeah. Though I, I like that one a lot too. The episode description reads as follows. How do you express love for your partner? Is it through words of affirmation, acts of service, receiving gifts, quality time, or physical touch? In this episode, Jenny and Josh take an on-air quiz to determine their respective love language. Applications of the quiz and the theory of the five love, love languages are then explored. I think or I feel like earlier on in our podcast journey, our episode descriptions read a, read a little bit like textbooks. Because I wrote them. You read them. You the write difference? them now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to. <laughs> I do write them now. You do write you them You did now. write them initially. I wrote them initially. Clearly a college I, professor. <laughs> I think then one night I was too tired and I think I fell asleep and you did it. And I was like, oh, dude, that's way better. <laughs> Um, All right. So my which number is another of, way we've evolved from the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. Like we realized like, oh, jo- that that's actually Josh's strength is to be able to do that. I just come unprepared to the studio and talk <laughs> and set off the, the phone and set off the phone. Yeah. All right. So my number four. I drink and know things. What is that? I, what is that quote? I drink and I know things. I'm not ready to talk about Game of Thrones. I'm still sad. Um, I'm not sad. I'm mad. Right. All right, so my number four was episode 35, which is entitled Perspectives on Parenting. Is that with Gila? Yeah. That was one of mine, too. Seriously, seriously so far, we've only interviewed, I think, three. We've been, I've been on a couple I different shows. Have to, I have to message her. We had to reach out to her. Um, I don't mind saying no, probably. No, I, I have to message her. She's been very, very supportive. Oh, yeah? Nice. Yeah. More on episode 51? Episode 51, Jenny and Josh, what the what heck the happened? Heck? Yeah. What the heck happened? Um, so let me just read this real quick. It says, are you in a constant battle with teenage aliens you live with to put on deodorant or turn off the lights or put away the milk? Then this episode is for you. Join Jenny and Josh as they talk teens with the mom who knew too much, Gila Pfeffer. Gila is a hilarious blogger with four kids and an amazing sense of humor. Seriously, we've only done three interviews on our, on our show. I've been a guest on a couple others. Jenny and I were a guest on someone else's show. Um, probably my favorite interview experience so far in podcasting was talking with Gila. So easy to chat with. So funny. She's been su- through such an amazing journey. Um, and I think that we just jived really well with her for that hour. It went by so quick. Um, and we definitely need to give, get her back on the air for sure. You can see her at the mom who knew too much.com. It's all hyphenated in the middle there. You can just Google the mom who knew too much. Uh, her blog is seriously hilarious. 
uh, and her stories are amazing and very, very relatable. Um, so I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed doing that episode. Do you have? No, I thought I posted something on Instagram and it's gone. So okay. I don't know what happened. Do you have anything to add about episode 35 with Gila? Uh, no, just that she's, um, it's a funny episode, but also there's some good information in there. Yes. Um, about parenting and about, um, sort of having realistic expectations of yourself as a parent and also yes. kind of uh, healthcare advocacy for yourself. So lots of, that was a very rich episode. Yeah, it was. Okay. What do you have next? What's your next one? Um, let's see. That is a picture of an ornament. A hundred days till Disney. A pint size perspectives. Oh, episode 39. That was, that was a blast. That was our only <laughs> in studio guest episode. Yes. And that was so much fun. That was a blast. Yes. And we're going to do a post. We're going to do a post. Are we? Right. We can call it. A post size. Per- no. No, 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 no. Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> It'll be. I don't think that I was actually in a pint size. Wasn't it like no, forty five minutes yeah. or something? Um, we shouldn't have called it that. Um, but that was a show where we chatted about our upcoming trip. Oh my god, a hundred days before, um, with our besties, Kristen and Cole. So that's been um, like ninety seven days ago. Yeah, because we're leaving soon. But um, don't tell people we're away. Okay. All right. You can't break into our house and steal all yeah. of our not things. Good luck with the pit bulls, everybody. Uh, See, um, that perpetuates the pit bull myth. You just did it. No, I didn't. Good I didn't say anything. I said, good luck with the pit bulls. They're going to lick, they're gonna lick your face you off. You didn't finish that. And they're going to mm-hmm. wiggle your butts. And they're gonna and we have a house sitter. And they have nothing for you to steal. They, so. their, their tails are going to whip you because they're so excited to see you. Um, no, the other... Lola, Lola barks at people. They all bark at people. That's true. Anyway, um, that was a fun episode. We absolutely need to do... Um, 20 days from Disney. Well, we're going to do 11 days in Disney with them. So, no, the episode, I mean. Yeah, but yeah. I'm sure we're going to be recording stuff, right? Yeah, while absolutely. We're, we're going to record um, just like we did and before. I am teaching two classes. Yeah. I don't vacation well. So, I am um, doing some supervision sessions and teaching two classes while I'm away. Yeah. Because you Cause never I'm can just vacation. take a break. That's fine. Yeah, that's that's what happens when you're self employed right. and you care about your clients and your students and everything. So, so I'm actually I'm excited about that. One of the topics we we are we have like personality disorder when it comes to podcasts. Why are we? That's not something to joke about. Okay. Clearly, I'm not a professional, so I don't know what I'm talking about. So okay. maybe I made an ill placed joke, but uh-huh. it was just a joke, so I apologize. We have we don't know who we are, but Let's that's not okay. Joke about mental illness. Okay. We don't know who we are. But that's okay because everybody seems to enjoy that. So one of the topics we rotate, um, we put on the hat of Disney podcasters. Mm-hmm. We just have, and and I love that because we love Disney, what it means to our family. We we connect it. I actually to, think we could lean all the way in and become strictly a Disney podcast, along with the five million other Disney podcasts there are. Yeah, but what would set us apart? We could talk about Disney and death. We already did that. I know. Yeah. I, I enjoy some of our non Disney episodes. I enjoy a lot of them. In fact, I enjoy five of them that I talk about today. Okay. Um, my None point, of them are Disney ones? My point, uh, actually, no, there is one. Okay. My point is, it's one of the hats we wear as far as podcasting um, is Disney podcast. And so much so, um, we are going to be doing something exciting with another Disney podcaster. Um it's like a contest, sort of a competition on the air, kind of fun game thing. Oh, are we still doing that? Yeah, we're still doing that. I'm just waiting on him to let me know. But, um, but yeah, so I we think... We should do that I'm gonna, in Disney. Listen. At like 11 o'clock at night one night. Yeah, right. I'm gonna, we're going to lean into the fact that we are a part-time Disney podcast, just like we're a part, part-time relationship, part-time whatever. We do all these different types of things. Are we part-time lovers? No, no don't is that sing in your it. Head now? It is totally in my head. <laughs> anyway. Wait, who's talking like that? Um, uh, do, a Stevie do, Wonder. It's a Stevie Wonder oh, song. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I think we that one got derailed a little bit. Let's get refocused a little bit. <laughs> should we take a break? No, I don't like breaks. We should take a break. Okay. Stay tuned for this message from Get Burly. We'll be right back. Are you looking to level up in life with your health? 
mindset, and personal mission statement? Are you a coach of a sports team or leader of an organization looking to build critical leadership skills for your team? If so, then look no further than GetBurly.com. The Get Burly brand offers life coaching, personal fitness programming, and team building retreats, clinics, and seminars, all designed to empower individuals and teams to become the best versions of themselves. The Get Burly Team Building and Leadership Development Division works specifically with athletic teams, corporate groups, and educational institutions. Through their signature seminars, workshops, and or retreats, Get Burly will have your team firing on all cylinders and working as an inspired, cohesive unit committed to the mission and vision of your program or organization. Get Burly will build the inner strength necessary for you and your team to gain clarity around your mission, input strategies to enhance mindfulness, amplify personal accountability and ownership, and much, much more. Do yourself and your team a favor and visit GetBurly.com. Get Burly. Be the best version of you. All right, we are back. Welcome back from the break, Jenny. How awesome is Get Burly? Really, it's really awesome. Sorry. I um, was reading a text message group from our children and was very concerned about the last message, which is from September 21st, 2018. So I don't... One of our children decided to reopen a group chat from a year ago. Oh, geez. I don't know what happened there. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> um, I'm next, right? I think, yes. I think I've got a couple more left. Um, my number, wait a minute. I lost my count here. Hold on. Hold the phone. My number three is episode 10, entitled Parenting Tw- <laughs> Hi, Norma Jean. Hi, Norma Jean. Really? We must have said okay. Yeah. She thinks that means we're going outside. Episode 10, Parenting Tweens and Teens. That's my number three. Um, wait, didn't you talk about that one? Didn't you? So you have, didn't you talk about the aliens one? No. Uh, we referenced it in the episode description for Gila. Uh, All right, so what are we talking about when we talk about aliens? So Jenny wrote this blog article entitled Raising Aliens, which is probably one of my favorite articles she's written. Is it really? It really is. It just, it's insightful. It's funny. It's relatable. Oh, I wonder if you're like, um, going to like the one I post on next Friday. Yeah. You could I'm read excited. it ahead of time. It's I can. just not up. So episode 10, Parenting Tweens and Teens, Tips on Raising Aliens, is available now. In this episode, Jenny and Josh explore how parenting tweens and teens can often feel like you are living with alien creatures from another planet. Mm -hmm. Ways to lean into the challenges of raising these aliens and tips for changing the way you approach this phase of parenting are discussed. So super fun episode. Um, We really just go through the points in your article uh, and review how... You know how crazy it is, but also rewarding and funny it is to raise teens, right? True story. So that was my number three, episode 10. So check that out, everybody. Um, what's your next one? Unless you have something to say about the, the one I just talked about. I got nothing. Okay. Um, cognitive Episode 29, ah. uh, Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, CBT, part one, understanding the connections between the thoughts, your thoughts, feelings, and behaviors while Norma Jean is trying to play with me. Um, mm-hmm. I liked that one because it, another kind of pop culture thing. I think CBT, cognitive behavioral therapy, is becoming very common, uh, pop culture And how do I know this? Because I get tons of people that come to me, literally, tons of people that come to me and they're like, uh, I was at my doctor's office and they said that I need to have CBT. I don't know what CBT is, but my doctor said I need it. <laughs> and I don't know that doctors know what it is either. I just know that it, I think that doctors here, Oh, here's a very um, evidence-based theoretical approach, um, therapeutic approach that can help people with lots of different issues. So go find a CBT therapist. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I liked that one because I feel like we were able to, in two episodes, break that down in a way that was kind of manageable and allowed people to kind of get an understanding, a basic understanding of CBT yeah. and apply it to some of their own stuff. Um, and I, I do I do talk about that a lot in my sessions with with my clients that connection between their thoughts or their cognitions, their emotions and their behaviors. Um, so 
I liked that one. And yeah. I liked that we originally, it was just going to be a one episode. And then halfway through the first we episode, we were like, it. this has to be a two parter. And so we leaned into that. That was good for me. That was like therapeutic for me. That, that episode, both of them, mm-hmm. um, lots of great information. It's like, that was a good episode, educational episode. I like when we do the educational ones. Great. Okay. So my number two is <laughs> what? What's so funny? I don't know Rebecca Nygaard, but <laughs> but she is my favorite person right now because I posted on Instagram a picture of Norma Jean and I said, we're back in the studio tonight for another episode, finally. And she posted the old lady from the Titanic <laughs> that says it's been 84 years. <laughs> That's right. Great. That's the old lady from the yeah, Titanic, yeah, yeah. right? Uh, that is awesome. That's great. Excellent. Thanks, Rebecca. Um, Thank you for missing us and for for reaching out yesterday yeah. and saying like, "What are you guys? Are you live? Are you yeah. Coming back? No, we've been getting some feedback. We're like, where are you? Where are you guys? Um, and I love that. That's exciting. Um, my number two is way back in the early stages of changing perspectives. Episode five, entitled Death. Star Wars. Oh my God. Sorry. What? What's episode five? Oh, no, I don't know. Oh. A new beginning. A new no. hope. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, everybody, you're talking to, you're hearing right now, one of the biggest Star Wars fans of all time. That's me. Um, and we, and we drag Jenny along just like we drag her along for Marvel. I think you enjoy Marvel more than Star Wars, though, probably. That is true. I yeah. think I understand Marvel more mm-hmm. than Star Wars. Star Wars is a little bit, oh, this Listen, is where we're going to lose people. But. This is This is, real quick... For my for my Disney Star Wars fans out there, my friends, we're about to head down to Disney. See episode whatever it was, Hundred Days to Disney, to hear more about that. We'll we're gonna re- record from Disney and everything else. We'll talk more about that. But we're about to head down there for the first time. We are going to go into the new land in Hollywood Studios, entitled Galaxy's Edge, which is basically Star Wars land. There is a real life-size Millennium Falcon. When I turn the corner in a galaxy's edge as a child of the 80s, a, 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 a little boy, I grew up in the 80s, my favorite movies, Zenium. Star Wars. When I turn the corner and see the Millennium Falcon in real life, I'm going to lose it, I'm pretty sure. Are you really? like I, I'm going to be in shock like... I don't know. I don't even know. I can't even put into words what it's going to be like for me. That's how much I love Star for Wars. For real? Yes. I'm going to laugh at you. Laugh at me. And then I'm going to get on the ride, and I'm going to be in the cockpit of the Millennium Falcon, and I'm going to cry again and lose my so, crap again. You know, Jacob and I were talking today because we also... So there's this um, tradition that our family has had because we've... How many years ago? We went to Disney for the first time when our oldest was three. We talked about this in that episode, actually. Right? We did. So, we, what did we do? Myths about Disney? I think so. Top 10 things we loved about Disney. So it must know. have been 2016. No, I can't. No. Nope, I can't. First I ever? subtract. <laughs> first ever was 2008. So, right. Because mm-hmm. he's 14, so it was 11 years ago. Yep. Um, 2008 was the first time we as a family went i was mm-hmm. pregnant with our with our youngest and we had our oldest so we'll count that as going as our family yeah where was i going with this uh, i don't know we must have had breakfast at the crystal palace and magic kingdom that trip because I think we did. that experience is this very like emotional mm-hmm. um uh what's the word i'm looking for like um triggering no not triggering help me out here I don't know. like um you know gen like tender um it's a this is why I would Nostalgic. never do good on a hundred thousand dollar pyramid. Nostalgic, no. Paper, snow, a ghost. <laughs> um, <laughs> it, I don't know. It's this very like, I don't. It's something our family always has to do. Go mm-hmm. to Crystal Palace for breakfast. It's tradition. Tradition. Every, like every every family that is a Disney family that goes multiple times every couple of years, every has year, some whatever. some sort of tradition. Has, exactly. This is our tradition. And I think the trips that we've gone that we have not done this, we've always been like, oh, oh man. it's really sad. Yeah. And it's something we've always done our first full day in Magic Kingdom. Yep. We have an early morning <clears throat> breakfast reservation at the Crystal Palace. 
I don't really know why, because our boys don't really like breakfast. Like our youngest maybe yeah. eats a half a bagel. So we lose a ridiculous right. amount of money on this. Mm-hmm. But it's the Winnie the Pooh characters. And so our youngest yeah. and I were talking today about how we think you're both gonna we both think you're gonna cry when we see Eeyore because Eeyore reminds us all of yes. Lola and yes. you're gonna be missing Lola. Do you think Ariel will be there? So we this is a weird thing. We've had the same weed, waiter probably five times. And a last lot, time yeah. we were there, we actually told, we were like, you're we gonna told think, them. you're going to think we're a little weird and stalkerish, but will you take a picture with us? Cause you've been our waiter for like five years in a row. Yeah. And he was, he was very gracious. I would love it if he is our, if he oh, is, if he is our waiter or if he is there, he's going on our Instagram. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Okay. That'd be great. Are you, little, are you getting a little teary eyed over there? A little bit. It's yeah. really nostalgic. I don't know why. It's just so powerful. Listen, it's I, really a stupid. It's been two it? years since we, you know, we, we snuck in and had this little tiny unplanned little Epcot surprise trip a few months ago. Um, which really doesn't count. It was, it was such a treat, but it was, doesn't really count. So this is our trip that we, we haven't been in back. It's been two years and it's so emotional. We've been planning this thing for so long. Um, and you know, we just need this little break and it's going to be great. And, I, there's little moments. I'm an emotional guy. We talked about this. There's little Are you moments. crying right now? No, but I have periodically over the past like week, like I put on, I'll listen to Disney music or I'll listen to a podcast or there'll be something. I'll think of something and I get a little teary eyed because it's so, it's just nice memories. Aw. Anyway. So episode five is my number two. And it's the death in Disney episode. Oh, that was a good one. I was. It was so fun. Yeah, yeah. It was the first time the boys were on the podcast. Mm-hmm. They were on together. We did a top ten. We combined our love for Disney, our love for movies, and our knowledge of grief and loss. And it was really fun. It was. It was probably earlier on. It was probably my favorite episode, maybe of our first ten or fifteen was that episode it was a lot of fun so check that out let me read the um description if i can get there while you're pulling that up it was always a topic that um the the class that i taught on uh death and dying uh not how to die but well kind of um on sort of grief grief and death and dying was for a funeral services program and that college shut down very abruptly um but that was always one of my favorite uh actual sessions class sessions was to explore death in sort of children's media and we would look at uh disney films and it was always really interesting to see the students reactions as you sort of scaled back and looked at it from a sort of global perspective like whoa there's a lot of death in disney and a lot of opportunities to talk about death as a family Mm -hmm. that we don't really lean into so i i really like that that's what our description says I liked how our boys were able to do that in a really meaningful, effective, yeah. insightful way. So it says, in this episode, Jenny and Josh review their top 10 most painful Disney movie deaths and explore how Disney movies can actually help guide important family discussions about death. So, again, we're Disney people. This was a Disney-based episode, but really it wasn't. It was about death um, in pop culture. Um, and... Also, it sort of doubled as a family slash parenting episode. All right, so I have one more, but what what do you got next? I don't know. Let's let's open up my phone and see. You have no idea, do you? I don't. It's like a surprise. <laughs> um, oh, the progressive funeral care. So that was episode. There's Norma Jean. Norma Jean. Uh, she was trying to rearrange her blanket, Hi, honey. and she didn't. She couldn't fix it. That's her problem right now. Um, you know how I spilt um, little sketty sauce on my. Yeah, did you just call it sketty? I did, just to be just to be cute. She smells it and she's like, "Oh my god, your sleeve yeah, smells." Josh amazing. and I went out for a date night tonight, and he got spaghetti sauce all over himself. That's not true. It's all it over your all sleeve over and me. all over your chest. It was a little little piece, a little mm-hmm. area. No, that sweater is probably ruined. We probably need a Tide pen, which we don't have, so your sweater's ruined. I'll get another one. It's from work. Yes, we went out on a date, and he wore. Uh, work bling. As it's a always. nice sweater. I've got but it a has your work shirt company under it. name on it. I know, but okay, all right. Uh, episode eighteen: Progressive <clears throat> Funeral Care Interview with the Modern Mortician yeah. Melissa Unfred. I, that was our first sh- Melissa first was, interview. Melissa was our first interviewee, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Um, and I really liked that our first interviewee was about 
a topic that you and I are both really kind of familiar with and passionate right. about talking about um, funerals. And she was great. Grief. And she yeah. was great. And we learned about Kermit. Kermit. Yeah. Um, Kermit the dog, not Kermit the frog. <laughs> great name. And yeah, it was just a fun episode. I think for people that go back and listen to our stuff, you have to bear with our earlier episodes in terms of technicalities. And audio and quality. And audio quality. Yeah. yeah. Um, we used Skype back then um, to and do interviews. And there was a, a delay. And now we use a different format yes. which the audio is better for the for the person calling in it's not really a call it's like web-based um microphone hosting kind of service anyway um but yeah that was fun melissa was great to talk to she's down in texas in austin um her social deep media presence what's that deep in the heart of texas yeah. <laughs> you just want to quote song lyrics all, I do, all day but that one that's got to be like common what do you call that no, I don't think so. Market. You don't think so? Like past the royalty yeah, phase? Yeah, like happy birthday. There's no royalties for happy birthday, right? You think no. Deep in the Heart of Texas has royalties? Oh, maybe. Maybe not. I think we're good. Like Beethoven's Fifth. So Does we, that not have royalties? We can actually go bum, 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 and oh, really? not have to pay anybody anything. Yeah. Oh. Beethoven doesn't have family? Well, not. Well, it's past. There's like a statue of limitations. A statue? Statute. You said statue. No, I didn't. You did. No, I didn't. You did. Well, we'll play it back and we'll see. We'll hear you that you said statue. And I'm going to add in me saying statue to not statue. <laughs> <laughs> um, she was she was great to talk to. Anyway, her social media presence is really great. The Modetician on Instagram. Check out her Instagram. That was a fun episode. Yes. Okay. So those were my five, right? I don't think. Did I, didn't I go first or did you go first? Yeah. No, I don't really know. You, do you have one more or no? I don't I don't have any more in my my camera. Who room. knows how many you actually did. Anyway, fine, we can do my, my last one then. All right, my number one top favorite episode. Let me guess. Oh my Hold goodness. On. Okay, I'm going to pull up our podcast list. Restore all downloads. Are you going to no, talk into you. the microphone? I'm try- I can't see <laughs> I can't see over it. Um, hold on, library. How how does one find our podcast in a quick manner, Joshua? Um, you subscribe. You, I don't think I've <laughs> subscribed to the podcast, everybody. Oh, no, I'm subscribed. So then where do I find it? Okay. Go to so, all episodes. Oh, um, have we done the Marvel one yet? I bet that's probably your final one. For the love of Marvel, a family review of Adventures Endgame. Nope. <gasps> Ooh, um, wait, Pitbulls. Nope. All right. I get one more guess. Um, blah, blah, blah. Let's see. La, la, la. Oh, I don't know if this is what I want to guess. Can I? Is it a relationship one? I don't think it is. <laughs> Sort of. Oh, no. Crap. Um, <laughs> let's see. It's not Come an on. interview, you right? You got to take a guess. Not uh, an interview. I'm looking. Uh, is it? Well, I'm very confused why you said it's sort of a relationship one. Is it or is it not? It is. It is. It wasn't. It wasn't what? Touted as that, though. Can mm-hmm. I just tell you? Yeah. Okay. All right. My number one favorite episode of our first 50 is episode number 48, Toronto Talk. What? Yeah. I think <laughs> this was so fun. Toronto Talk number it two? It was so easy, yeah, to go through. Anyway, so let me, for episode 47 and 48 were a two, part of a two-parter where we recorded live from Toronto on part one uh, because I was there on a business trip. Jenny came with me. This was back in September. Um we thought it was so cool to be able to record right from our uh, hotel room, and we released that episode. It was it was a lot of fun, and we had so much to talk about. We had so enjoyed our few days in Toronto. We wanted to do a part two, um, and we ended up talking, just riffing back and forth. It felt like just like good old fashioned sort of morning radio, just talk radio, and it was it was great to in, to review those fun times with you, but also talk about. Um, our time on our date night in the bar. Um, I just think it was really, it was us. That's why I like that episode a lot. Um, I'm over here, by the way. But Norma Jean yeah. is running around and being really adorable. She's funny. And I don't know why. Right. What are you doing? Let me read this. Um, say hi to everybody. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. You're trying to get her to speak. I know you're going to speak. Let me read this episode description. It says, don't miss out on the exciting conclusion of Jenny and Josh's adventures in Toronto, Ontario. Where else did they eat? How many old fashions did Jenny have? 
Could Josh successfully pick up Jenny at a bar? Join in on the conversation and learn just how cool a real speakeasy is. What are your friends' names? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, it was so fun to do that episode with you and not only be there in Toronto with you, but also talk about that in that episode. It was just fun. Oh, great. Okay. Yeah. Did you enjoy it, though? I Yeah, I don't think it would have been my... My my num- I, I was looking at the why do I like doing this podcast It's because I like doing it with you and so that was my number one okay yeah all right I love talking about the topics we talk about and discuss and teaching people things and helping people um, but I like the act of having this outlet and doing it with you I think it's good for us it's good relationship stuff I I think in episode 51 Jenny and Josh what the heck happened I think we should talk about what um, what impact not doing this podcast, not recording for the past yeah. four weeks or so has had on us. Yeah. Great. Let's do that right now. Let's we're end this one and do that one. We're going to do that one right away. Sure. That's not how this worked. Don't pull down the fourth wall. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do you have anything if you want else? new content, it has to be recorded before we go away. Cause I don't, I'm not confident in our ability to record while we are on a cruise ship in the middle of the ocean. We can, we're just going to, we're not going to bring our mics. We're just going to do it on my phone like we did before. Oh. Yeah. We're not I, bringing the microphones. Well, I know, but I still don't know that we can't like record and then upload a whole episode. No, no, no. It's going to be post. Yeah. That's post what I'm saying. Post-cruise. Yeah. So yeah. we should have some stuff in the, yeah. the vault. Okay. I'm, I'm good with that. Okay, I was cool. just kidding about the fourth wall. Oh. <laughs> All right. Before we end this episode, I am going to go ahead and read some of these reviews. What? Yeah. I don't think that's allowed. It's totally allowed. So listen. Guys, rate us, review us on iTunes. We'll read your uh, for a chance to ha- hear your review read over the air. Wait, but the, how do they? How do you? All right, so they have to post the review and then take a picture of it and send it to you, us, so that we know it's them. Because you can't contact people through their reviews on iTunes. I'm just reading their username. Yeah, but how are they gonna? You said rate us, review us for a, a chance to win. No, no, no. That's the photo. Oh, take but a I'm picture. pretty sure you just said that. No, I didn't. That's for a chance to hear it over the air. Oh, yeah, that makes That's more it. sense. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so Hollywood, so this is from back in May. So uh, this is appropriate. We're talking about the history of changing perspectives, our short history. So we can, we're going to read some reviews from the beginning of our journey. So this is from Hollywood JDT, uh, who wrote, Smart and Thoughtful. I love it. The show is great. Good advice, thoughtful comments, goal of helping others be better. So thank you, Hollywood JDT. I'm going to read a couple more of these. Um, Shaza233 and a bunch of numbers says, love it. Very smart and informative podcast. Thank you, Shaza or Shaza. Uh, And the last one I want to read from Brandy Glows on iTunes. Wise and thoughtful. This is such a great podcast. The hosts are intelligent and thoughtful, but not preachy. Brandy? I'm learning so much. Is that from Brandy? says Brandy Glows. I'm going to assume that's Brandy Glanville. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't think so. I think it is. Is that a housewife? Yes, and uh, Big Brother. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I don't think it was her. It was totally her. But uh, Brandy wrote, us next. again, um, I'm, not, I'm learning so much. That's, just, that's how she ended it. So thank you, Brandy. Thank you guys for um, rating us and reviewing us and submitting those comments. So we're going to read some more of those in the next episode. So thank you for that. Jenny, do you have anything else for today? Nope. All right, everybody, that is going to do it for today. Thank you so much for listening. Today's show notes links, you can really just go ahead and head out to changingperspectivesblog.com. That's pretty much it. Check out all of our stuff and all of the different podcasting platforms, Spotify, iTunes, Stitcher, YouTube, all that fun stuff. Please follow us on Facebook, everybody, at Changing Perspectives Podcast and on Instagram at Changing Perspectives Blog. You can send us an email at changingpodcast at gmail.com. You can also visit our website by going to changingperspectivesblog.com. And while you're there, don't forget to visit the shop to check out all that great Changing Perspectives merchandise. Go ahead and subscribe to the show so you'll never miss an episode. And we will see you next time. Say bye, Jenny. Bye, Jenny. The Changing Perspectives podcast is produced, recorded, and edited by Dizzy Bird Studios. Please visit Dizzy Bird Studios on Facebook, facebook.com slash Dizzy Bird Studios.